So uh, okay. just to uh, real quickly, uh, I'll, I'll repaint the scene, and then we'll 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 go back and explain other things if we need to. Uh, you've all just entered a uh, large room. Before you is this uh, silver gnarled tree that's kind of bloated. There's lots of different syringes with different uh, with tubing running out of it with different colored liquids being uh, pumped into it. Um, uh, there's against the walls there's all sorts of strain like or shelving with a bunch of different uh, kind of vials and jars and different sorts of uh, kind of scientific equipment of that nature uh, books and such th those things um, there's also there was a cage to the, the left side of the wall uh, where there's like a figure being seen that uh, you're with you are I forget Mm, I need to get the right number, but I think there's like ten people who are coming with you. So there's like I think there's like sixteen of you all together um, who are going through these halls and have found your way in this room. Um, My fans. Yeah, and I think that's I, I think that's where you're at right now. But where any other questions? Uh, any other questions that were dangling? No. I'm good. I'm good to go with the flow. Yeah, oh, okay. we'll figure something out. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, so uh, just so my, I think this is for stream and for the players. Uh, the players all know this, I think. But uh, this is the season finale for Demon Seed. Should be. We'll see how that how it goes. But it should be the season finale. Um, a lot of different reasons for that, uh, but here we are. So uh, we'll, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna save all talking about it until see if we actually get through it at the end. So without further ado, do um, you all may you all may play. Well, first of all, I would like to very tentatively and stressedly step further into the room and say, Giotta? <laughs> you step further in the room and you uh, receive no answer. But the music continues very faintly. Um, I can hear her here somewhere. What does uh what does she look like? She is very old. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah. <laughs> you you probably would have seen her <laughs> if if Nalai ever invited you over tea or something. I don't know. I mean I yeah. probably haven't. Oh, it's... oh, you haven't. No, Paz hasn't. Paz is like, who? <laughs> who that new phone? Who this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. New god, who this? <laughs> I I'm gonna actually um, start walking towards the cage. Okay. I'm just trying to see what I see inside it. Okay, you see a uh, humanoid figure, kind of ratty clothes, crumpled at the bottom. Is it Giotta? <laughs> uh, pretty clearly, you, you can see pretty quick, quickly. It's not the the okay. hair is is what what's what actually what does Giotta's hair look like? What's her? Oh, her hair is like you know silvery white. She's real old, and she like keeps it in a few braids, and then like braids those braids. She's just okay. this cute like grandma shaman person. It's beautiful. Okay, this well, I mean, there's some similarities here, but this 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 figure seems a little bit. I mean, uh, not wearing the clothes that Jota wears. It's wearing a different sort of clothing. Uh, the hair is kind of white, white-ish, but not necessarily uh, like old graying hair, that sort of thing. Um, seems a bit long, a lot longer actually than you remember uh, Jota's hair being. So but you don't. It doesn't seem like Jota from a cursory okay. glance. Um. Okay. 
Uh, also, the figure appears to be bound, hands behind the back. Oh! What's everyone else doing while I am emotionally constipated? <laughs> um, I mean, I think I'll come with you. Should we release this person? I, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna walk up to the cage and say, hello? Do they look infected? Man, I have a lot of really useless spells prepared, guys. <laughs> <laughs> At least you have spells. It's the lots. life of a cleric. <laughs> so, uh, as you kind of you speak out to the figure, it kind of shifts on the floor and turns around, and you get a glimpse of the figure's face. Um, darker skin uh, but not like brown like the like charcoal almost uh, similar to I mean, well I mean I don't know if you've se- ever seen a, a, a drow before but this is a uh, one of those <laughs> and f- feminine uh, seems to kind of like shift eyes very, like, open, just barely. Seems a little bit groggy. And the cage is locked? I'm assuming? It is locked from the outside, yes. Uh, Did we discuss who was able to deal with locks last time? We unlocked stuff, right? Did we? It was Barty. Barty! Oh, I can pick locks. Oh, Oh, great! Or was it Paz? I don't remember now. It was one of the people that wasn't here. We yeah, were like, yeah. You got oh, it. Was. They both weren't here, so I think <laughs> I think <laughs> both of them were good at it. Took, yeah, they just took turns. Pass. Yeah, I can I can roll thieves tools for sure. I Wait. think we should let this person go. Make sure they're not infected. Um, Have we figured out how to do that? Smell anything? I mean, if they're infected, we cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm not leaving a person in here. <laughs> so. It is fairly common knowledge at this point that to detect things like that you need detect evil and good. So, uh, I don't know if anyone has that, but that would be what you use. Um, I, stealth and Thieves tools are the same for me, so 16. Oh, per- sorry. I didn't even notice that. Okay, let me turn on my dice so I see them all rolling around. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, you, uh, it's it's a pretty uh, simple simple lock. Or at least like uh, it's not it's not entirely complex. It takes it's a uh, the mechanism in itself takes a little, little bit of getting into. It's like a little bit deeper in than most locks that like your layman would have, but it's not complex. So you just like get in there, pop it open, and uh, the padlock comes free in your hands. Okay. Are, are you, are you okay? I start to walk into the room. Okay. Um, wait, are you saying that to the figure? To the person, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, she kind of stirs in the floor and kind of gets, doesn't quite, has difficulty sitting up with her hands bound behind her. It kind of like, sh- kind of pushes with her feet, slides backwards, like uh, getting away from you a little bit and looking at you all uh, takes a long time for her eyes to focus on you we're, we're not here to hurt you uh, we're, we're looking for our family um, their families my family's here uh, that's neither here nor there do, are you are you hurt where is he who the doctor is he here there's a doctor? Yes. We learned about him last time. <laughs> I have oh, not right, 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 right. seen the doctor. So the doc the doctor he he isn't here. Or at least not that we've seen. Who who are you? Well, my name's Odie. Uh this is my brother Barty. Uh 
these are our companions. And who, just... who are you with? Who are you with? This Each is my other. brother, <laughs> Barney. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm not with anybody, but we're, my, my we're brother... We're kind of an independent outfit. Yeah, then, uh, we're here looking for their family. You probably have not good. heard of us. That's that's good. Can you can you can you can you cut me loose, please? Yes, yes, yes of course. And then I do the thing. I'm gonna wander back to our civilians and make sure they're, you know, okay. shepherded they're together. Okay, they're all there. They're all staying there. <laughs> they're like, all dead. Really. Um, a couple of them are kind of oh. like not wandering off, but they're kind of like spreading out a little bit, looking at the things in the walls, and and most of them are in awe of the tree before them, which is a very peculiar, bizarre sight and most of them don't un understand the cultural cultural significance of it as well um so you cut her loose and she kind of uh you know does that classic trope of kind of rubbing her <laughs> uh, um i i didn't catch your name diana 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 sarin well it's nice to meet you uh we have some other people here that are trying to get out uh, my friend Malai is making a face at me. And you seem like a good person. We should take you with everyone else. Sorry, I'm sorry. What was your question? <laughs> no, 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 there's no question. Uh, th there are other people over here, and we're all trying to escape while also finding some extra family members. Okay, hold on. Malai, let's, if you've got let's something stop. to say, say hey, it. Hey, hey, Lindsay, you can say your thing. Oh, okay, it's it's Diana the Druid from last time. She's the one who escorted the tree all the way over here. She was like the only one who survived, <laughs> besides the rogue. Do you know? It's her? Diana. Yeah. Well, now no, 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 no one in character. No one in character. Oh yeah. I was I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was like, what? Why are you freaking out at me, Nilai? Just use your <laughs> tongue. <laughs> I was like, I don't know this lady. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Explain with yeah. your mouth. <laughs> There's some mother survivors over here. Use your DD tongue. <laughs> yeah. My whole mouth. Put my mouth on it. Sorry, that's a callback. It's a, it's a callback. <laughs> um, oh no, I said it wrong. It's with my mouth. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, I said it wrong. <sighs> Joke buggered. Um. So, I'm. So, but I'm. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm a little groggy. What What are you talking about? What What is the question? Some of our family has been stolen, and we found some of the family members, but others are still missing. So, we're gonna continue to look for them. But here are the rest of the survivors. If you'll come with us, and I'll show you to this group of people, uh, and we're gonna get all of you out. That's the plan. All right. <sighs> What, did, you, did you come from the cells, I guess? Yes. And she wasn't, or he wasn't, who who was? Haven't seen anybody but this, like, really tall, dark, silent type um, who carried us in here against our wills. But he didn't hurt us, so I don't think that uh, is the person you're thinking of. No. Uh, just, you, sound, what? you sound like you've been in here for a while. Do you know how to get out or where they might be keeping other prisoners? The way to get out is fairly simple and she kind of points her, uh, points to behind the tree and as you kind of come to her and move, maneuver around the tree and around the room, you do see a light coming from a, a small uh, a doorway behind the tree that was opposite where you came in. Uh, that has the stairs that lead up. Like, they they come in and out that way. But if you're looking for another prisoner, and her finger kind of points towards the tree. Oh. It's like, they uh. Um, sorry. Wait, you you came from the cells? Yes. And she kind of blearily begins to kind of collect her senses and 
looks over the other 15 of you <laughs> and is like um, kind of worriedly and then and then looks back at you with a new suspicion uh, uh, I might be missing something here Lady, you want to leave cell or not? <laughs> I, want, I, I Are you all Did you find out who was infected? Well, I mean none of us are infected. <laughs> like tries to stand in front of Barty's face so she can't see. Yeah, I totally like. I think I have an eye patch. But we we don't know enough about the prisoners to deny someone freedom based on suspicion. So unless you know who is infected, we just need to get out. I think. I don't think they're trapping people here because they're infected. No. So, good chances is that well, maybe one or two are infected? Yes and no. What is... Okay, well... Maybe we should expound on this as we walk. Walk and talk? Yeah, are you feeling right. strong? Do you, are you thirsty? Someone said by name. What? Oh, I still have not found Jyota. I will not leave without her. You Have you seen an old woman? Very nice grandma type. <laughs> She likes tea. Yes. <gasps> you have! That doesn't sound like a happy yes. They... They brought her into the tree. And... The ones he brings into the tree never come out. Wait, you can go into the tree? Yeah, so when you say, like, into the tree, do you mean, like, up to the tree? I'm gonna go up to the tree. I'm yeah, I'm you. definitely I'm definitely moving towards the tree at this point. Is anyone else missing family members? Okay, uh, no. Are we just, just missing Giota? Yep. Okay. Uh, as as she, she starts to answer you, you all, uh, the two of you walk towards the tree, and you see a... Uh, as you get closer... In the middle, you see this, um, what looks like a very fresh wound scar <sighs> racing up the side of the tree. Like physical? And physical. Okay. And, actually, in Nilai and ethereal. Okay. It's, you see it in both eyes. You're very aware of both existences. <laughs> um... As she begins to talk to you, Odie, and like, the... I, I... I don't know how to... Okay, okay, I don't, I, I don't know how to explain this quickly to you, but the, the Alvarin is an, is an anchor. Is an anchor for Nora to help help her have a connection to this plane. But it also serves as a gateway on this side where it can. And the doctor has been he's been using it as a way to gain entrance into the ethereal. So you said the scar looks recent, GM? Yep. Like, as in that's where the doctor might be right now, or... Yeah, sus. can we open this? I'm gonna touch it. Oh, oh, uh, is there anything else that you... I know you really don't like this doctor person. Okay. Are they, like, just, like, the creepy kind of I don't like them, or, like, they have scary powers I don't like them? I, 
I've been down here for I don't even know how long since I arrived in this shore I've been down here drugged day after day I I I I don't even I I don't know if I've been here for weeks or months or days. That thing is sadistic. And it needs to be stopped. We will do that. And I reach in my bag and I grab out two rations and I hand her my water skin. And I say, uh, take this if you feel the strength and confidence to escape with the others go for it if you want to wait for us we'll be back where are you going we're gonna go see about a tree you're gonna go into the ethereal yes if that's where that tree goes to get Grandma, I can't think of her name. That's Giotta. where we're gonna go. Giotta, that's where we're gonna go. And then, uh, as you kind of, she looks like she's about to protest, and then stops and hesitates, as if she's listening to something for several moments, and then. She kind of shakes her head. This... To do this, to get into the ethereal through the tree, causes the Alvarin a tremendous amount of pain. Oh! Oh. Wait, it's a tree, right? But it's alive. It's not just any tree. Oh my gosh, Paz, you could just ask things if they're trees. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, but anyone who's gone into gone in there has never come out. I. I think it's a full Xamarin, but the Alvarin wants you to go inside. So the tree Excellent. wants Excellent! We have consent! Let's go! Yep. Yeah, I'm already- I've, I've been like slowly been reaching out to touch the scar, because last time I tried to touch an ethereal scar, it disappeared, so I'm just... Yeah. So, testing. So yeah, you touch it, and the on the ethereal side, it begins to heal. And you hear uh, Diana yell, he's like, what are you doing? I stopped touching it. We, we have to open that back up in just a second. What are you doing? I, I was, I don't know. Uh, How I did you do it. that? What, what happens if I touch it? Uh, are you touching it? Yeah. Oh, uh, nothing. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Nalai, are you okay? I've seen these before, and they closed when I touched them, but I don't know how to open it and get in. So, Diana kind of pushes, kind of, <laughs> like, staggers past you and to a table in the back and s- s- crushing so around. It's like, like, they have these... They have these daggers that they use to cut through these things. Good. Very violent. Cut through what things? Through the Alvarin. Can't we ask the Alvarin to help us? Grant us passage? So it doesn't get hurt? They can't do that. Oh. And what of the fledglings? <gasps> oh, yeah. How's that? Just gonna leave them here? Oh, yeah. I don't think you want to take them, do you? I'd like to take them home. Do you want to take them home, or do you want to help to find Jyota? And I don't mean that you can't take them home eventually, but right now, we're going to go find Jyota. 
So we're just going to leave them here to be thrown back in another cage while we go into a tree. Now, what if the doctor comes back? I can well, go the into the tree. doctor's in the tree. We okay, don't know that. if we fail? I will go into the tree. Oh, I'm Deanna's... definitely going into the tree. It sounds sick. <laughs> As, dope, as, my as clerics, we need to So heal now it. we're going into a sick tree. There's even less guarantee that we'll come out okay. Like as Diana is kind of like, sort of half listening, she's like, "The, the children can just go. That stairwell leads back out to the, the main street." Yes, we should just let the children run off on the directions of a dread druid. That can't get up the easy. Excess so, <laughs> girl, you were just talking to a tree, okay? And do you intend okay. to abandon Giotta? I don't intend to abandon Giotta, but I don't intend to leave the fledglings here to fend for themselves. Then what should we do? Is it all children in the civilian group? Are there some adults there? There's not, there's only four. There's four children and six adults. S- Two fledgling. Wait, no, three fledg. I'm sorry, five children and five adults. Three fledglings. And two. and what of Mizuki's sister, and the one that physically cannot walk out of here on her own? Are we to I leave her just, here as well? I can just go into the tree. <laughs> I can try to find Jyota. How far away are we from our apartment? Like, where in the city? Would it make any sense for someone to run back and then run the civilians back and then run back here? I mean, it's about an hour from... uh, You're in the center of the city right now, roughly. And uh, the south docks are about an hour from that to the southwest. Um, So, could be done, but that's that's up to you. But the doctor would probably come back out of the tree between now and then. I do not think we should take others into the tree. Others, um, civilians, what do I call them? I don't know, common folk, our loved ones. I agree with that. That that makes sense to me. But shouldn't come. How many uh, people have been taken into the tree, Diana? I, I I've lost track. Maybe a dozen. Well, I'm very short, so it will take me more time than someone else to take the civilians back to our apartment complex building. Our homestead area place room. Uh, is there anyone faster? What time of day is it? I think it's almost like one thirty-two. Oh, okay. At this point. Maybe 2.30. I, I, it's like kind of mid-afternoon. But, um, yeah. So I, I think... Two or three people could take them back, and the rest of us could stay and hide and make sure the doctor does or doesn't come out. If he does, we can leave the way we came in and warn the party before they get back. Like, Barty, you and I could stay. We're very quiet and small, hard to find, and you can message people from far off. Only if not that far. Well, can you not? I don't have message. Ah, uh, what? I'm only <laughs> level three. Lol, Jk. <gasps> well, but you probably want to stay with your with message. Yeah, t- but Torio can take them. Torio is very fast, especially in the air. Oh yeah, but then you can message me when you get into range, and I can let you know what happened. I can. I will stay. I'm going to look for Giota. How does I'm this plan sound? Tor- Torio came to sure. find the fledglings. <laughs> Do you just want to take the fledglings, Torio? Well, but he may not come back once he gets the fledglings there safe and sound. That's not it. It's just that's his. That's what. That's what Torio's here for. Yeah. 
and leaving them in the creepy room with the evil tree while he walks away doesn't exactly yeah no no so we're we're proposing that Torio can take the fledglings to our apartment for them to wait for Torio to get back or okay. if Torio's super attached it would not work for the game but he could stay there <laughs> yeah it would if make it, sense if it suits his character better but um, I think Torio likes Nalai and would want to help her. And Paz has biscuits, unless she ran out. <laughs> For the sake of the story, Can't perhaps Paz has not run out of biscuits. <laughs> Where's that? Uh, that that's actually, actually her her trinket. She has infinite biscuits. <laughs> infinite. Oh. Um, I can go with Torio because I have uh, I have my sister on my back. So. Oh, right. see. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, just do that. We can take so, them back. So we'll Split do that. Party. So yeah, so all right, you two guide the other like ten prisoners, guide them out. The four of the the other four of you remain. Um, uh, was there anything that, like, uh, Mizuki and Toria, while you're out, was there something that you wanted to accomplish other than just delivering them there and then coming straight back? No. You walk. Just <laughs> no, just going as fast as we can. Okay. All right. Cool. So, the four of you, what, every six seconds. <laughs> what, are, sense, what do the four of you want to accomplish <coughs> while you're waiting? You, you kind of figure that you have about an hour. Like, see, on the way back, they can get there much faster than on the way there. Because they don't have to, like, carry a bunch of people with them or, like, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And, and Torio and Mizuki are particularly fast. So, uh, if they want to be. So, um, you know you have about an hour and a half. What do you do in that time? I would like to find a place to hide where I can see the tree uh, and as many exits as possible, or entrances, I guess, and just be very quiet and wait to hear, hopefully, uh, uh, a message that's like, should we come in, or what's happening, or anything from uh, Torio? Okay. Can I, um... I mean, I'm probably not going to figure anything out, but while we're here, I'm going to just, like, cast Detect Magic as a ritual and see what's going on with this crazy tree. So, uh, the tree itself is... Um... It is a buzz with magic. Um... But... Uh, it seems to be a magical creature in its own right. Um, you've probably heard about it before. It's it's the uh, like this. Is, I've, I've said this like four or five times before, but like it's kind of the the cultural equivalent of the Ark of the Covenant for mm-hmm. the uh, the Enoran Church. Um, it was purportedly a, a gift from Enora to them. Um, and uh, if if anyone wants to get Deanna talking, she'll talk to you about it a little bit. And but uh, a little bit, a lot of bit, a little bit, a lot of bit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it, her and the tree have a particular connection. Um, oh yeah, that's a good idea. While we're stuck here, uh, Odie might be like, wait a second. How did you know what the tree wanted? So, uh, I'm just going to fast track this conversation. We're not going to play it out. Yeah, because it'll take a second. Odie is not bright, but she is curious and kind. So, she kind of goes over her whole story with it. Because she she hasn't actually... She's very visibly uncomfortable being in this setting. But she also seems reluctant to leave the tree behind. So, uh... Probably, if the tree wasn't there, she would be gone immediately. But um, she's staying behind and just kind of to, to keep herself, I guess, sane. She's kind of just telling you her story. Um, she tells you that she arrived in Belford maybe a few months ago. She doesn't really know how much time has passed, and but she and she came with a few other survivors, and that that the city had not been kind to them. Um, she talked about this person that she called Drex, said that he had kind of became a sort of community leader for the uh, refugees. Um, 
that he would help people find work and accommodations there, but um, that he ran afoul of some criminal underground within the Belford and that she hadn't seen him since. Um, she also talked about this other person that she arrived with, this uh, person named Preston, uh, that had uh, reported to the local magistrate, the uh, Aldrum Moorchild, and had stayed there t for a time, apparently, but she never heard from him. Uh, she did hear rumors going around that uh, of all the people who had fled the uh, the the mainland, uh, no other high-ranking families had reached New Caldor, and there were lots of rumors going around that Preston might actually have some sort of claim to power, and but he was never seen from again. And there's rumors that. The more child's optum. There are rumors that he's just rotting away in a dungeon. There's rumors that he made it away and escaped into the into the wildlands. Um, uh, but Diana says like it's 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 like I I'm he I'm sure that he is alive. Like I knew Preston. It's hard for me to believe that these soft bellied backwater babies could do what the Vashta could not. Um. But then she goes on, she, she talks about how she remained with the Alvarin when they arrived in Belford, that, um, which was very contentious in the Church of Honora. Uh, it was kind of frustrating for them that this a religious druid was kind of this, tr this uh, artifacts caretaker, um, that she was like profaning their relic. And so uh, they tried to get rid of her, but... Um, and she said that she actually packed up and started to leave the city, but she doesn't know what happened, but before she left the city gates, there's a, a people that came, came and brought her back, saying that, like, never mind, you're, you're still here. And she assumes that the tree itself put up some sort of fuss when she left. Um, That's so precious. She also talks a lot about the doctor. She talks about how when he first arrived, he had a lot of uh, new ideas about how to protect the city from the Vashta. And most people um, seem to disregard him and saying that they're too extreme. Uh, one of the most notable voices against him being that of this uh, kind of... Uh, I, I don't know the right word uh, like a, a paragon of the church uh, a sister Hestia that had kind of uh, spoken out against him um, but over time uh, a lot of the dissenters to what he was saying kind of would be quiet or would disappear or just kind of fade out in the background and before she knew it. Suddenly, the doctor was in a position of power within the church. And dang, what's that happened? Uh, Diana's been has been kind of locked down here, drugged constantly, but is there to keep the tree alive. This um, the experiments that the doctor performs on it are very uh, ser they're, they're very intense and the tree needs uh, it, the tree would die if she, she was not here to take care of it during all of this so so that goes on for about an hour and a half uh, but she kind of talks to you about all this and you kind of like and there's a lot of like opera pauses and all that sort of thing um is there anything that you all wanted to chime in with anything about in particular over the time um i'm gonna try and uh go spirit go i'm gonna go ghost i don't know i'm just gonna try and look at things and just see how it looks and see if i can is that a danny phantom right now? that yep. sure was I'm gonna see if I can hear Jota better when I do my little spirit walkingness, and like yep. just 
etc. But only once everyone's settled and like, if anything terrible happens, they can jump into action. You hear it. Um, you hear it better. Can I get an insight check from you, though? Oh sure. Oh, no lie. Ouch. You no. dummy. Nothing stands out to you about it, other than just you continue here in your um, in Jota's voice, this lullaby that she used to sing to you. Okay. Okay, and everyone's back together. <laughs> okay, so no one left or came in, so the doctor's probably still in the tree. Um, I'm sure, Diana, you would have t- told us what's in the tree if you knew, so I am not going to bother. See, it's a, the, it acts as a gateway to the ethereal. To the right. spirit world. But, like, you, if you knew that we were going to, like, walk into a room of meat hooks, you would say that. <laughs> All right, so Nilai can actually inform you a little bit here. So yeah, the, I was like... The, the ethereal itself is... So it's a, it's, it's a little bit... It's like this membrane that um, connects all the different planes. And uh, it's... The planes all kind of all overlap at this point. Um, and so as you would go in, if you were to walk into the ethereal, you would probably see something very similar to what you're already seeing. Just it would be on an overlay to pop... On that, or a deeper level, it, I, I don't know the right way to look at it, but yes, you it, you wouldn't be in a separate room all of a sudden. You would be where you are, and your camera's frozen. But I, oh no, it's not. Okay. No, it's not. I just was like, uh, so what you're saying is that the doctor could be in the ethereal listening to us this whole time. Oh yeah, uh huh. Yeah. Why yes. did you let me <laughs> ask all of these questions? And, like, I'm a little hide. distracted, okay. No, I'm gonna go hide right. so in case the doctor okay. comes back. Okay. So one thing <laughs> that Nalai <laughs> has she's able to keep an eye she can, oh, look yeah. I can see point at pretty much at all times <laughs> at to thirty feet. And I was walking around, I was watching. We she, were she fine. Would, she would know that it's clean. So, okay. <laughs> Here's You're my right. plan, guys. All right. I'm gonna Stop bounce me. around because people people who haven't been specifically had an in in yet. So, Bar- Barty, is there anything you want to do at this time? Uh, I mean, I would have been listening in, probably chiming in, but also just every once in a while pulling out that jar of worms and just kind of looking at it, seeing if they do anything, if, like, I trace a finger along the jar or... Uh, yeah, but, like, as you kind of trace a finger along the jar, kind of, like, like these kind of, uh, look like, like lampreys, basically, mouse kind of, kind of, like, sucking at the edge of the jar as you kind of uh, move your finger across it. I'm basically imagining that one X-Files episode where they find the worm underneath the Arctic or Antarctic. I don't know. Yeah, do you just have like a big jar of cool leeches? Something like that. Apparently it's something I picked up last game. (laughs) Yeah. A jar full of black worms writhing with aberranth. That's what I have in my inventory. Aberrant. Probably aberrants. It's like probably they're, they're like aberration. That's probably what that's supposed to say. Um, uh, Paz, is there anything that you're doing as you're waiting for this to happen? I think fidgeting and looking bored and annoyed that everybody's left where there's cool adventures to be had. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Torio. Is there anything you do before you leave the little, the chicks behind? Well, I mean, I talk with. Bob and with hmm. Bob, but uh, uh, Bob, Bob is working at the, <laughs> at the International Waffle House at the, t- at the time. Stop by saying he's got his apron by. on. He's like, yeah. No, I, I mean, I, I tell them to stay there, and then basically tell the Bob or one of the other elders that I have to go and uh, help those that help me. And consider strongly leaving the home tree branch behind, but take it with me just in case. And as like before you go, uh, your whole tribe surrounds you in a circle, and uh, with their beaks 
begins to kind of preen you. And, and, and thanks for what you've done. And th oh, you, oh, and you, and well, mm, no, I wouldn't. I won't give him that yet. Torio has hope. Uh, Mizuki, as you uh, lay down, um, uh, Reiko, is there anything that you do? Um. And her eyes are still red and puffy. She's not crying currently, but she's also very much out of it. Um, I kind of like tuck her into bed, uh, leave like uh, some food and water near her for when she wakes up and just kind of like, I'll be back soon, okay? She doesn't respond. I give her a kiss on the forehead and I leave, wiping tears from my face. After after the preening session, Torio's going to leave the map that he found to the other areas of volcanoes with Bob, and tell him that if Torio doesn't come back by tonight to take the tribe and find a new place to live. Fair. Okay. So, you two return. Uh, the scene is uh, pretty much unchanged. Uh, everyone, it seems to be maybe a little bit fidgety when you come back down the stairs. I don't know if you've worked out a signal, like when you come back down, like, like, a car! Oh, like <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's a really loud whisper. Oh. Just like, <laughs> it's like, well, it's me. Um, oh, Odie you have said, message too. Right? Odie yeah. said to message someone before we come back down. So as we're walking down the stairs, I whisper to Mizuki, we're coming in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, great. I just want to be playing cards with Barty, like, bored. God, uh, I, I like <laughs> I like answer I, I know okay good and then we go in okay and as you get in uh, <laughs> we'll speed this scene up a little bit and <laughs> we'll, we'll smash cut about uh, two and a half minutes later and Diana is taking a knife to the tree's side and roughly tearing it down and as she does she's crying Ooh. and Tor Torio grabs the last remaining slice of home tree that he has left and holds it very tightly oh and this uh, opening is created within the tree with a dark sap kind of pouring at the wound. Oh. And uh, Deanna just kind of if you have to go in there I didn't cut I didn't cut it open for you just to stand around. Are you going in? I'm, I'm already go going. I'm yeah, like I'm gonna go I'm in case free. I close it by going in. She got snippy. She's a little bit <laughs> dry. <laughs> Just be, oh. be patient there. <laughs> She's nice. I love her. And for those of you following along at home, make sure you vote on which one of us will die first in the Revlo contest going on in chat. Just vote. Just vote for me. You practically did anyway. I did not. <laughs> that is false. But yeah, Nilai is waiting to go in last because apparently touching these scars closes them. Well, her touching these scars closes them, so she's going to wait in case she closes it when she goes in. Throw Fair that point. out there. All right. So you all go in, yes? Yep. Yes. I whisper, thank you, as I go in the tree. Okay. <laughs> I try and, like, wrap my wings around in front of me to, yeah. like, cover the staff up. Yeah. Oh! Okay, it's good. As best I can. Okay. So, as you step in, uh... For everyone except for Nalai, 
Uh, it is that concept art. Yeah. Yes. Um, I actually like scrubbed out some of the cars that were in this <laughs> in this particular <laughs> concept art. But yes, it is that. So as you go through, um, first off, it's bitterly cold. It's very cold here. Um, for everyone who's not Nalai, you can't see more than 30 feet in front of your face. Everything is incredibly uh, foggy. Um, there's a, what looks like uh, ash or snow or something kind of floating through the air. Um, particularly around this spot. Uh, you see... Well, uh, let me start over. Uh, so it, within this room... Um, you do see that like the same basic shape of the room is there, but the, the dimensions are slightly warped. It's a little bit bent and uh, asymmetrical. Um, you're, you're vaguely aware, like as you walk through, it kind of feels a little bit like walking through uh, water. It's, it's kind of like pushing up against you. Nalai, you haven't been in the ethereal plane in a long time very long time. You've, you've looked into it, but you haven't been in it in a long time. Um, and your experience in the past is very similar to what everyone else is feeling. Right now, you, you see everything very clearly. You, you don't even really struggle to move at all. You kind of... I mean, to... to, to further the water analogy you kind of like you're like a fish in water while everyone else is kind of struggling a little bit and as the rest of you uh kind of work through this space you also notice that uh gravity isn't the same uh as you kind of walk you find yourself like above the floor a little bit and and you're trying to keep on the floor is a little bit difficult if you want to um, if you if you were going to experiment and, and, and be that guy, you could like probably walk on the wall or walk up into the air if you wanted to. Or good, kind of... but now that you said that, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's, it's 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 not like it's not it's like it's not a one to one uh, uh, analogy to water as far as or swimming. You can you can like can make your way around in it. Um, in any pretty much any axis as you're finding uh, but going back to the line you can move through this effortlessly and you can also see in more colors than you've been able to notice before and you can see way farther than you've ever been able to see in here before and all of that's very 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 strange for you 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 have a very fuzzy memory of the last time you did this it was a long time ago when Nalai rescued you from the uh, Vashta as they swept into your tribe but then it was very cloudy very obscured and it was it's hard to see where you're going but now it's clear and not just your vision also your hearing and you hear the lullaby clearer than ever oh and it's not close but you know where it's coming from. Okay. Uh, is there anything anyone wanted to do as you kind of like make your way in this new weird old place? Barty would try swimming. <laughs> See okay. what progress he makes there. Uh, acrobatics. Get acrobatics or athletics? We'll do acrobatics. That's fine. It's not really like an effort, it's more of balance. Yeah. You kind of you take to it really quickly, actually. Uh, you kind of, you know, push off the floor and kind of like go up to uh, the doorway and kind of bounce around and kind of make your way up. Up. Um, uh, <clears throat> seeing Barty do that, I want to do the thing where I like, like you said, I try to ascend to a like <laughs> ascend to a higher level. Like whether that's walking on a wall, if there's a tree or a rock nearby, or something that I can sure. easily. And I want to just fire an arrow and see how that acts in this. Okay. Yep, go for it. What so, oh, you, you don't have to roll for that. Yeah. Okay. So you, so you, I don't know why I, I, I left a pause as if you should roll for it. <laughs> like, yeah, you shoot an arrow. 
and it seems to act, behave normally. There's not a whole lot of resistance uh, as you move through. It's just the the you know there's a consistency of pull that you're used to where gravity is centrally located that isn't here. So it's not like yeah, it's not like you're in water pushing against resistance. It's just you're just getting used to this new rule, these new rules. To um, calm his nerves, Toria would like to light up some white leaf. You ha- oh yeah, you pick some up some more. Yep, do it. Yeah. Okay. It's very creepy in here, and it's cold. So he's gonna do that. Okay. While everyone's doing things, Nalai's just gonna look around and kind of just try and keep near everybody, like maybe in the center okay. slash front, and just. Okay. It may look empty in here, but there are things here. So. So. As a reminder, to, I'm sorry. To, I interrupt nope. you. Didn't mean to. Nope. Uh, as nope. a reminder, everyone who's not in the lie, you can only see roughly 30 feet in front of your face. Mm-hmm. It's totally obscured further out than that. So if you're if like, for in the case of Barty, if you're kind of like flying around, jumping, depending on how far ahead you get, you're going to be alone in your own vision very quickly. Barty! Uh, yeah, if I notice them starting to fade away, I would backpedal and like flail okay. my way okay. towards them. Okay, <laughs> rolling your 20 forward, you would be able to do that easily and get back. Okay, just just wanted to say that clear. No lie, you hear the music, you know where what direction is. Mm-hmm. In. I know where to go to find Giotta, but please stay close. I'm gonna um, walk okay. next to Nalai. Okay. You can see in here better than the rest of us? Yes. Cool, I'm sticking with you. <laughs> I'm gonna ask if Odie wants any. Ooh, what is that? <gasps> A friend gave it to me. <coughs> it's white beef. <laughs> A friend gave it to me. Do Fred. I know anything about white leaf? Fred. Uh, surely oh. by now. I mean, it, it. Surely by now. We'll just say yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, I will. Uh, I'll. I'll take some and pretend to smoke it and like do the puff, but don't inhale and. <laughs> you're gonna. You're gonna. You're gonna George Bush me. Oh, yeah. Bill Clinton. Okay. Come on. Yeah. I'll. 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 One of the. Oh no! It was. You know. but, you know, it was George W. What am I talking about? There was both every of them. Single, was it both I will, of them? I will. every single president. You. Every, was it both of them? Every like, white no, president. Yeah. George W. said I. Wait. He <laughs> said, but I didn't, didn't inhale. inhale. Right. Who, Who said, said I did not inhale? I thought that was. I thought that was Bill Clinton as well. Bye, Ryan. Bye, Ryan. So important. I'm We win. Bye. That was Clinton. Was yeah, it? that was Clinton. Oh yeah. my bad. It was, my it bad. was definitely Clinton. Okay. All right. It was definitely Obama. Obama. We beat the bad right. guys. The game's over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're all check. Spanish. Um. Yeah. 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 I think it was. I was. Yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, Sorry. I, I, that I, was I could super very well be wrong. I thought oh, it yeah, was. I, I, I try to fake him out and be like. <laughs> I just to me, Clinton seems like the guy that would just be like, "Yeah, I smoke all the time." I know. <laughs> I think he would now. I think. Well, I think he's also, he's like, yeah, man, I straight up ripped it. Like, but yeah. uh, he said that, but he's also quoted saying, "I deny smoking pot." Yeah. So, yeah. Let's be real. Bill Clinton denied a lot of things. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he denied denying things. <laughs> All yeah, right. so, so, I'm just so, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give Odie a, a hit and okay. see what happens. Take it so, I, Odie, you do not take the hit. I do not take the hit. I try to fake out the hit. Okay. Uh, roll performance. You're not gonna take the hit based on this performance. Just like I just want to know if Toria knows that you're faking. Yeah, Toria, average. I was gonna say even on a natural twenty, Toria will probably just yeah, yeah probably not notice. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. So yeah, you don't notice. I, and I immediately look at <laughs> at Barty like. <laughs> Guess that should have been a deception, but that's Barty wants some. It would have been the same role probably. It's really uh, strong. Everyone, I'm be just, careful. I'm just gonna anyone that's like looking at Torio, he's just gonna be like. Uh, uh. is gonna look extremely disapprovingly at Torio. <laughs> I oh. love it. You're all sit, you're going in here to this like crazy place to save Delilah's grandmother's like oh we gotta straight we gotta we gotta get blazed before we move yeah. on. 
I appreciate it. It's, I there's need a to lot get going high. on, and it's to calm me down. Oh, yeah. 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 Man. I know, he's protecting Home Tree. I understand. He's like, this made me feel calm before. Also, okay. those whispers were terrifying. Did anyone else hear that? That was horrible. Horrible. Okay. <sighs> so. Full of horror. Full of horror. <laughs> Uh, so, as you all move forward, um, first, gosh, I need my pen. I'm, I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye and ear out for anything that, like, sudden changes of sound, mm -hmm. e.g. people moving towards us. Okay. Or Just things. Just people? People oh, or things. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> right down there. Um, I don't really have like a holy symbol because that's not how she rolls. But I'm I gonna, rolls. <laughs> I'm gonna um, just say some silent, just have a small silent conversation with my god. Okay. Do you want to talk about anything? Probably one-sided. Okay. Just be like. Can I get a sample? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. If if you're here and you can see me, I mean, I hope you got my back. Oh. Um, you don't hear a voice, uh, but you do feel something kind of come over you, and uh, it's like smoke on you. And, <laughs> until uh, until further notice, you have the effects of the the bless spell on you. Oh yes, thanks, mom. Sorry. So as you uh, move through these uh, city streets. Um, Nalai, you were very aware. Uh, actually, uh, everyone besides Nalai roll a perception check, and I'll roll. Can uh, Alex, can you roll for um, Odie? Yep. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh, pass. She's just I, not having it with this place. Okay, pass. Can you? Can you? Uh, I'll take that. This please advantage describe either. your roll before I describe everyone else's. Uh, <laughs> like, explain that to the rest of us. <laughs> you want some of the white leaf? Or... I mean, maybe I'm just like a little bit freaked out and like focusing on trying to talk to my girl. <laughs> girl um, and not really like paying attention, I guess. Or maybe I'm a little zoned out. <laughs> cool. All right. So. We'll say for uh, Bartimaeus, Mizuki, and Torio. Wait, Bartimaeus, which one's? Oh, no, over to Canada, sorry. So, uh, Barty, you don't notice this, actually. But um, everyone else, you notice uh, what looks like a uh, stream of uh, shimmering that begins to kind of, cl as you walk through the streets of Belford, um, you kind of like go up the stairs and out into this twisted kind of assembly of it and move to what kind of feels sort of back to the west. It's a little, direction's a little bit hard in here, um, for, for even for you to lie, but for everyone else, it's just kind of like lost. Um, but the rest of you, you do notice there's like kind of this, 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 uh, almost a contrail of shimmering that begins to collect and, uh, track behind Nalai and Nalai you see a uh, just a just this long tail of a spirit that begins to kind of like these you know as, as you know them uh, they those like kind of the inky forms they're kind of moving through space but uh, almost like an oil slick like that kind of prismatic shimmer that they have like kind of rainbow colored inky things that are following you in this stream as you walk through like more and more kind of gather it behind you as you begin to walk they're just following you the rest and, and the rest of you except for Barty are sort of familiar with this phenomenon but you can't you can't you can't really see it it's kind of a little bit outside of what you're able to perceive you don't perceive it as clearly as what I just described in the line but you notice something kind of wavering behind her And, okay, so you continue on, <laughs> and uh, you make your way, Nalai, I, I, I'm going to explain a lot of this to Nalai, because she's the only one who has any sort of concept of context of where you're at versus here, 
and the physical. So, uh, and I don't know if you're relaying any of this to them, to the group. You don't need to. If but... it seems like they need orienting, like Puzz being stressed out, I'll be like, this is roughly where we are in the real world, you know? Just like to keep her grounded kind of a thing. So, uh, as you go to what you kind of recognize as kind of the South Ducks area, uh, you pass by a few buildings that you sort of recognize. Obviously, they're distorted. Um, across the walls, you see this slick growth that's beginning to kind of crawl out and uh, cover most of the walls, pour out the windows, and stretch out into the ground slightly. Not every building, just buildings here and there as you kind of like make your way through as some sort of like uh, fungal growth is overtaking them. Uh, but you continue to make your way deeper and deeper into the south docks. The sound of the lullaby growing louder and louder and louder. Um, and d does anyone want to do anything in preparation before you continue on this path? I would pull out the jar of worms and just see if there's been any change with them since we crossed into this realm, this plane. No, negative. Okay. Um, once we're pretty close, like once I feel like nervous, er, I'm gonna just start spastically casting resistance on Mizuki again, mm -hmm. like every minute, just cast okay. it again. Um, but. Um, I'm gonna try and cast. Oh, first, does anyone mind if I make a little sound, maybe to s try and communicate with Giotta? Hey, go nuts! What? Go nuts! Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like ego nuts, and I was. That's like... what I heard. It's <laughs> like what's that? They're like ego waffles. So no, like I'm just... Egos just... presents nuts. <laughs> Lego my nuts. Ego. <laughs> we can edit okay. that out too. <laughs> no, that has to be the episode title. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, but so I don't want to do anything too huge, but uh, I guess I'll. Just, oh, sorry. Um, I, I just, I don't know why this not, it's not blooping for me. Oh, well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cast Thaumaturgy and maybe just try and do like a little faint echo of like harmonizing notes to the lullaby just to see if she will notice. Okay. Um, you do that. The rest of you hear it. This kind of um, strange melody. Uh, most of you, uh, Mizuki, you might kind of be somewhat familiar with this kind of, kind of melody. I'd imagine the rest of you come from cultures that don't go by this particular cultural scale for music. It's not as uh, normal for you. It might sound a little bit uh, uh, discordant or oh. something like that. Um, but you don't actually, you still, you actually don't hear the other part of this, the rest of you. I don't know if you've noticed that yet. Probably oh. not. Oh. Um, it's just an ally that's hearing this. Oh. Um, burp, 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 burp. Uh, no, no change, an ally. Okay. We are very close now, so if anyone needs to do anything to get your wits about you, do that. I look very pointedly at everybody who's been smoking weed. I'm good, <laughs> <laughs> I'm good man. I'm so good. It's not weed. It's white leaf. It's basically it's like like it's green tea. <laughs> it's a salad. It's a salad. It's a salad for the lungs. <laughs> Even smoking less. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. Okay. Mini just... anything, it's more like PCP. Okay. Gosh. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna keep leading everyone in cautiously. Okay. And like, if I can perceive a way to like get, like once we're pretty close, like if I can perceive a way to like be unobtrusive about our approach, just in case, you know what I mean? Like if I feel like she's coming from yeah. 
like the open part of the docks be like go around this way come out this you know what i'm saying like not like yeah, a sure. central we'll way do that. okay we'll do that so uh you think you got an idea of where it's coming from and you find yourself in the road down the street from not far from where you live just a few blocks down there might be some people there that you've met before maybe in the market or someplace else um, depending on how social you are uh, but you do hear the singing coming out from within and you approach as quietly as possible I, I'm assuming mm -hmm. um, may I get stealth checks for everyone dang Odie dang Odie girl where'd Odie go dang Paz girl Dang, Torio, <laughs> stop being high. <laughs> Torio, stop coughing. Look, it's not that he's high. It's just that Torio doesn't move on the ground. He oh, just that's fair. Click, <laughs> click, <laughs> click. When the bird he's like thing. a velociraptor in Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Gosh, the best. All right, so you make your way over, and uh, Nalai, you, you approach this building. Everyone's mostly, for the most part, keeping quiet um it's, it's it's hard for you to discern because you hear this this music that no one else seems to be aware of so you feel like you're being a lot quieter than i mean you feel like the group is being more quiet than maybe they are um but other karen you have like a really good kind of sense that you kind of sense that sort of tori is being a little bit kind of um you know, clickety clackety, but uh, overall, you all make your way fairly quietly through. Um, Nalai, you approach this building and you press your. Uh, you look through a window inside, and what you see inside. is bedroom you see three shadowy half corporal half not dark canine looking creatures oh. You see a humanoid looking figure standing further back on the back side of the wall. You see a rusted construct, uh, kind of similar to in, in, in shape like a crab. Like there's this kind of cylinder with four, only four legs. And, um, Within this cylinder, uh, there's like this one. I gotta explain a few things. Sorry, this is gonna take a bit. So, <laughs> so you see, first off, I, I should have explained this as you're walking by. You, uh, Nalai, you are, and, and the rest of you are kind of aware that there are other shapes kind of moving through, and they aren't spirits, they're actually, uh, kind of the after images of people in a material world. And right. you might even even heard like a um, snippet of a conversation or two. Um, you, you, if you were trying to like walk into them, you would pass right through them. But uh, they're not like physically there. But uh, you would have heard like just people that you recognize to be in a physical world, perhaps on chance as you go through. Here in, within this bedroom, on the bed, there is one of these people in the material world. And on the edge of the bed, there's this 
crab-like construction that you can tell is in the ethereal plane with this one uh, armature stretched out with this strange cone-like uh, apparatus that seems to be kind of directed at the base of the neck of the, the creature in the material world. So much to explain. I'm so sorry, but it's coming. Kind of like, and then within the the body of the kind of I'm just going to say crab robot because that's the quickest way to visualize what this is. Um, the, within the kind of the the body or the shell, uh, it's kind of made of a very dirty, uh, almost opaque glass. Uh, but you do see. A crumpled form that reminds you of Jota within. Inside the robot? The crabot, but yes. Inside the crowbot? <laughs> it's crumpled? Well, she can't move. She's bedridden. Like, she can't walk. Like, But, like, define crumpled. <laughs> like, are her like, limbs... Uh, also, uh, no, like, give me a perception check. Tribe, perception! Like, 50% of your tribes are unable to move with their own volition. She could before. <laughs> Both of our people could before. They got so, wounded. So one no old, one paralyzed. Gosh. No lie. Serious time. Yes. I never stopped. The figure isn't moving at all. Oh! Oh! And like I'm, I'm trying to think of a good metaphor for this. Uh, kind of like a, a glass of water that's been over full, like how kind of the kind of surface tension lies it rise, rise above the lid a little bit. What's that called? I don't know. Anyway, um, meniscus. Is it meniscus? This is the opposite, but yeah. Oh damn, you're right. But yeah, surface tension. That's the right one. Okay, surface the tension. Thing. Polarity um, of water. Yeah. So, like surface tension of water in an overfull glass. The spirit of Giota is a little bit outside her physical form. Oh. And uh, actually, I'll explain that. I'll explain that later if we need to. Okay, great. I retreat from the window, and to mm -hmm. my part, to my party, I say, I whisper. Jota's inside, but she's also inside a thing. And she is dying. And then she's we get not her dead. Out. She's not dead. Kind of dead. Ah, you can fix that. Let's get her out of the thing. I like you more and more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go! At the very least, we can... We She deserves... Uh, honor in her death. Okay. Whether that's a burial, or you know, lots of blood spilled in her name. Okay. So, uh, uh, real quick, I'll say this for <laughs> your... Um, for an alive for your tribe, you... Well, okay, no, 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 I'll explain that later. Okay. Uh, okay, so, uh, are you gonna look back inside? I mean... Do you guys are we are we just gonna charge in, or do you guys like want more recon? Like, what's the vibe I'm getting from the party here? I'll, I want to take a look. I want to take a look. Uh, is there another place where I can get another vantage point to see? In this room, there seems to be just the one window. Okay. Uh, can I? Sure. Uh, party. What do you see? I feel like you see things more than me. Oh. I mean, Tori's I. Gonna, Tori is gonna go look. Yeah, right. I'll take a look too, and just be like, "All right." Oh, so is is is, is, is freaking everyone going to the <laughs> <laughs> or the cartoon thing? It. I just, like, I just want to like picture this in the right. doorway when like the head pops, and yeah, then like, the other one. <laughs> exactly. One exactly. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, um, I'll say this. So, who? Wait, who's volunteering? Number one. Um, I will look again in case I see okay. any spirity things happen. All right, so no eyes looking again. Is there no one else? Okay. Oh, so Oreo. like all three of you are looking. Okay. 
Yeah. When Pete. when Torio gets the glass though, he's gonna go <sighs> and then draw a smiley face on it. Except okay. your talons would just make it like tink tink. <laughs> Have, he doesn't have, like, off his hands. Oh, he doesn't have little pads. Feet. Okay. Oh, wait, what? So, we're going to speed this up a little bit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is great. I mean, I, I, I like it, but we'll speed it up. So, uh, here's what you see. All right, three of you peeking into the window. Uh, first thing you see uh, is on the roof above everything, uh, the the roof begins to like carve open as if something is tearing through like flesh. It opens up in a tendril. A s- tentacle begins to descend from the ceiling, <laughs> dropping closer and closer towards this uh, canonical uh, apparatus, and begins to slide inside Oops. and uh, goes towards this uh, kind of thermal creature in the prime material. Also, the three of you, as you look in. Oh no, we'll go first with Barty. Barty. Your eye starts to feel really, really hot. As you feel, uh, you see this crystal clearly, this white line begin to descend beyond the wall. You see it as if there were no wall there at all. It begins to descend and drop into, you're not really sure, it just begins to bundle into, and you see something being passed from this tentacle-looking thing into whatever is underneath it. Uh, The three of you, you also look in the room and... uh, you see the crab robot and nothing else. The three things are gone and the figure in the back. Wait, wait, wait. Crab. Okay, whatever. Roll perception checks. Okay, so let's go inside. You say roll perception checks? I did. All, All of us? us or? Uh, the, those of you at the window. Okay. Yep. Zero. Who is most able to to cause a distraction? I can make noise. I can be loud what? and obnoxious. Yeah, me too. <laughs> can you, like me. <laughs> but can you take a punch? This is the question. No, because I never picked up armor. armor. So it doesn't really <gasps> matter. Yeah, I might. <laughs> okay. Because if someone wants to cause a distraction, I can get an arrow off. I'm gonna Sorry. charge in. Sorry, I'm looking at the, uh, the most selfish plan I've ever heard put forward by this group. Who wants to Listen. run into five feet of everyone so that I so can, I can get, get one d six of with... damage? Okay. <laughs> it sounds fun. I'm in. Okay. Oh, pause. It's better than all of us going in all at once in like one little group so that one AOE like one shots us. Okay. So. Besides, um, Flame's got 17 Electrum riding on this, so... <laughs> right. All right, so, as you all kind of uh, know why all the things that you had seen there before are suddenly gone, you kind of frankly move around. Uh, Oda, Karen, and Tori, you do not notice this. Have You have no uh, perception of this at all. Uh, but, Nalai, you hear what sounds like clacking, racing towards you from either side of this alley. And this is going to be a surprise round on everyone but Nalai. No! Oh, no! But I'm so I sorry! Everyone roll initiative. Ah! Odie, uh, Odie, 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 Odie. Look, here, I, I drew, hey, let me give I you this, um... Here, you, use these. Wow. I love it. Uh... Oh, I should probably bring up the tracker. Probably. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh. How did you get that initiative? Hold on a second. I, I, I didn't clear out the old one, I think. Okay. Oh, but this will be easy, because now you have your things. All right, easy peasy. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we're going to do this. Part of me, part of me, part of me, part of me. All right, I probably should. I'm gonna bring this to the. Um, just so you can see. Oh, evil shadow dog. Shadow pooper, no. 
Shadow Pupper! Don't you dare! Yep. And Ryan, just a heads up, myself and the stream can only see the names for Barty and Odie, because I have control of those sheets, but not the others. Okay. All right, so let's see. Okay, so give me a second. Mm -hmm. All right, that's horrifying. Horrible. <laughs> uh, and Barty probably would have said something about like whatever just went into that room did a thing. I don't know what it did, but it did a thing. Okay, so, um, pause. Hi. No, surprise round, I forgot. Fair, fair, fair. Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, we'll get to you in a second. Uh, so actually what I'm going to do, let's see. Oh, gosh, too many things going on. So, Barty, no. Odie, uh, no. Mizuki, no. No lie. Yes. You hear these sounds coming through uh, on either side, but you see nothing. Okay. What do you do? All right. Let me check a spell really quick. Um, so do I know how far away I'm hearing them, or just vaguely that way? They, they seem to be rapidly approaching. Okay. Um, crap. I'm just going to cast... Oh, no, no, I'm not. Shoot! I'm going to ready my action to throw a dart whenever I see one. Okay. All right. So... Waste of a surprise round. I'm so sorry, everyone. All right. Good so... luck. I love you. Uh, this first one will be at... Uh, we'll do this first one in the lie. Okay. Oh, wait. I'm, I'm still talking to myself. Let me cancel this. And do... Take team... Oh! It's a 21 hit. Yes. Can you roll me a strength saving throw, please? I am so strong, you guys. <laughs> so... As uh, you you hear this like kind of clicking of nails, and also you can throw your uh, well, actually not quite the second, but um, oh man, that's gonna be rough for you. Actually, it's about the same. So uh, you hear this snarl, and then like out of the uh, kind of ether, just like ev out, like out of nothing, this large black shadowy dog appears out of nowhere and clamps down on your forearm and pulls you down to the ground, ah. uh, slobbering everywhere, and uh, you collapse underneath it. Um, and you throw your dagger at disadvantage. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, and you do hit it. Hey! hey. Uh, and it kind of, uh, it just, it begins to like kind of bite down harder onto you. Oh, rude. Um, ah! and one will go for a Toria. And it will have advantage because it is coming out of invisibility. Oh. <laughs> Great. Great. <laughs> so, uh, that's 15 points of piercing damage. I need to do a strength saving throw for me, please. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my reaction to activate the purple amulet. Perfect. Do it. Doing it, which absorbs most of the blow. Yep. And storing energy. So that's going to reduce it down to seven points of piercing damage. Good move. And then I'm going to take a, or do a what throw? A strength saving throw. Oh, <laughs> you never know. Uh, this part no, is I like... know. Uh, wow. Hello. I feel you, man. We are equally right. as strong as each other. High five. And this last one at, uh, at Odie, again, at advantage. Mm, nope. Was 14 hit? Nope. Okay. All right. 
And then as all, like it. Oh wait, wait, wait! It was an it was an advantage. Fourteen, fourteen hits, fourteen hits. Fourteen hits. Okay, you take thirteen points of piercing damage. I need you to roll strength saving throw. Drags. You know oh. what? There was a there was a thing that Ryan told us about that uh, I totally forgot to add into my character sheet. Yeah, all right. I did, but it, it's not relevant yet. Okay. Um, so, and after all of these creatures kind of like come out of uh, this invi invisibility and snap into you. Um, all of them go invisible again. <laughs> and that will bring us to the top of the thing, actually. Wait, sorry, I went too far. Pass. So... I'm guess. Uh, can I see these like weird things now that have like emerged? Nope. No. Um, and the plan was for me to like rush into the middle of everything, right? Yeah. Now I'll say this like based on the 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 how the D and D how they consider invisibility. Just because something is invisible doesn't mean you have no idea where it is. Like I mean, I can, can, know I can hear them and see people falling yeah, over and stuff. You can make attack rolls against them at disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Um, but if it's something that requires sight, yeah, that one. Yeah. Um. <sighs> Heck. Uh, who got knocked down? Me and Everybody, Torio? basically. Yeah, everyone. Yeah. Except for Mizuki and Barty are up. Okay. Um. I guess I'm gonna... I'm not prepared. <laughs> um, I'm not prepared. I'm gonna fuck. I'm just gonna cast Shield of Faith on myself. All right. <laughs> um, that's a bonus action. Do you want to do anything with your action action? Um, yes. I will just like wildly shoot my crossbow in the direction of uh, the one that pounced on the lie. Okay, all right. Uh, 18? Oh, uh, yep, that'll do it. The one that, Girl. the line, oh, also, you hear a yelp, uh, and this uh, spray of kind of like black uh, shadowy blood kind of like fly up against the wall behind it. Um, awesome. Okay, uh, I think that's all you can do. Do you want to move or anything? I mean, I don't know where anything is, so I think I'm just going to stay where I am. <laughs> okay, good call, good call. Uh, Barty, 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 Barty. Yep. Um, just double checking because half my spells require being able to see them. But. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, only one of my spells really I can do without needing to see. So I am going to attempt to cast Dissonant Whispers on the one that attacked my sister. So it okay. needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. And also, can you give me a list of the people? people that you can't see uh, HP for. Um, let's Just see. like type it in chat and I'll, yeah. I'll um, get some. Every time I try to open up a sheet though, it like my whole browser hitches up, so it yeah. might take a while. Mm -hmm. uh, so wisdom saving throw. Uh, there we go. Nope. nope. So it's gonna take 11 psychic damage. And right. it's gonna need to just piece the f out. Okay, sweet. So uh, it just runs away as far as it can. Is that what it says? Uh, yep. Um, yeah. It must immediately use its reaction, if available, to move as far as its speed allows away from me. All right. You just hear clattering of you hear a, a, a whimper and a clattering of like dog nails like <laughs> on the pavement as it in receding into the distance. Yeah, that's um, right. That's where I am. Um, awesome. So, uh, odi, odi, odi. So, oi, oi, oi. so I've had a little bit of wine. Just to be clear, everything's invisible, correct? It's so like far, everything, yeah. Everything, but all the people. So I take my backpack and I dump out my contents, like, on the floor in front of me. I've got shovels, like, <laughs> like really loud stuff, like pittons, hammers, tailor's tools, hemp and rope, whatever. Uh, and then I ready my action for any of those things to move. I will shoot at anything above it, like okay. at the empty space above it. 
Okay, kick it. Cool. <laughs> Smart, girl. All right, so, Mizuki. Okay. I'm going to use the thing that I have not used at all this entire game <laughs> and that use my free action. Can you mute, Bebe? Thank you. Uh, I'm going to use my free action to take a piece of cloth off of my weapon and tie it around my eyes and use my blind sight. Hey! Hey, hey. finally! Woo! Yeah, girl! <laughs> Um, and then uh, try to get know. a sense of where the closest thing is. I did not know you had that. <laughs> well, you told you told Surprise. us to pick like a a thing at the beginning. And that was the thing. No, 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 I no. Picked. I'm not saying no, no. I, I, I like when I was <laughs> doing this encounter. Like, oh. I, was like, I to me, I was just like, oh, trust fall. They'll figure it out. <laughs> It'll be uh, fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. So, so I want to blind sight. So I want to go. Uh, the closest one that I can sense. Okay. Um, how, who were you standing the closest to? And, and you can make you you can choose it now. It doesn't. What, I mean, prob probably probably Nalai, just because I was obsessively casting resistance on her. Yeah. So <laughs> she, okay. Yeah. 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 Perfect. So, so yeah, you do you, the one extra lie is the one closest to you. Okay. And I'm gonna take a stab at it. All right. Do 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 do. And this will not be. It won't be a disadvantage, but um, unfortunately, that is not a hit. Um, you kind of swing out to it, and it uh, kind of like squirrels around. Uh, it like as this Nilai's rolling on the ground, wrestling with it, it just shifts out of your slash. Uh, is there anything else you, you'd like to do? Um. That's it. Okay. Uh, no lie. Okay. Ouch. You, so I have this you've, an invisible thing is clamped onto your wrist. Okay. Is it still disadvantage if I can't see it? Like if it's on me? Like if I go I will, to stab I will it? Give you, I will give you just a straight roll for a melee attack. Yes. Okay. I'm going to attempt to stab it. Yep. That hits. Excellent. Um, Is it still on me? <laughs> actually, literally to the hitch po hit hit point. To the hitch point. You hear a <laughs> and, it, <laughs> and it, uh, you hear a heavy a heavy form collapses on you, <laughs> and you kind of like shove it off, but uh, it appears to be not moving. Okay. Uh, uh, so who looks more hurt than me? Say that again and you cut out. Oh, who looks more hurt than I am? Torio, probably? Uh, yeah. Probably. Odie's uh, Odie, quite... Odie's hurt. Actually, Odie might be more hurt than you. Okay. But I, I, I don't know. They're, they're pretty much the same. It's about the same. Like, Odie and Torio are, like, the most the same amount? Yeah. They're, they're, I'm splitting hairs here. They're pretty much the same. I'm at half health. So, Toriel, whoever that looks doing? like. Uh, Alex, can you send me a list of people that you don't have yet? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna cast Healing Word on Odie. Hey, I did my best. Oops. Yay. Sorry, I clicked the wrong thing. Plus seven. Got okay, it. so that's no one's turn, which will bring us to the board port's turn. Uh, and they're gonna keep going at the ones they are. But uh, okay, it... have your you have your reaction. Okay. Uh, which I will let you take as this thing goes at you. Um, go for it. Pew! Oh, uh, that thing didn't register. In case it hits, I need to roll 1d8. Uh, if, it, if it has any health missing. It is does have health missing, but this is still technically... 
So it's technically a disadvantage. Oh, then but, that probably doesn't But matter. I'm going to give you advantage. No, I'm not, I mean, I'm going to give you advantage. I'm going to cancel it out because of your actions to see it come. So okay. we'll give you 18. Uh, and you do hit it. And so then it also... So... <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, you hear a, a yep yeah, uh, is not quite... Oh, wait. Did you have... Any of that extra stuff? No, it's eight. It's eight. Uh, okay. so it wasn't it wasn't hunters marked. It's not if it's not if it's a beast, it takes plus two. It is technically not. So okay. Uh, but you it, it you feel blood kind of like gushing around all around you. Uh, so it seems to be really hurt. Uh, but it's gonna take a bite at you. Uh, at a, we're gonna say not an advantage because you see this coming. Okay. Um. Uh, that doesn't hit. <laughs> Okay. Oh boy. All right. Cool. And then uh, one for Torio. Uh, does the nineteen hit? You're muted. How close am I to Torio? Torio is dead. <gasps> no. How close am I, I mean, to Torio? I mean, define dead. Uh, you're. Within like you, pro you could do your feet. You're within can like I? five or ten. Yeah, you can. Uh, yes, girl. Save our friend. So, Save so it. except that Torio's knocked prone, and advantage and disadvantage cancel each other out, and it's still that is 19. true. That is true. Dang it. Oh. Torio's uh, dead. Um, right, um, um, no, my my thing won't be able to help there. I, I will be able to help next round. Okay. So, Torio goes down. Uh, and that will bring us to your turn. Can I get a uh, death saving throw, please? Mm -hmm. All right, that's one failure. All right. And then from... Around the corner comes a figure wearing uh, kind of this uh, sort of like looks like a thin sort of figure with this like long overcoat, leather kind of quilted, kind of reaches out with this uh, kind of strange looking uh, contraption uh, made of bronze, looks like several cylinders kind of uh, wrapped together with this. Uh, it seems very crude, wrapped together with like leather and other things. Um, it reaches out. Uh, you hear a, and then a projectile comes out. And to the uh, three of you who are conscious at the front, um, Nalai, Oda Karen, and uh, uh, Mizuki, I need you to roll a wisdom saving throw, please. I'm sorry, was I also in the wisdom saving throw? Yes. All right. So, this, as this projectile hits the ground near you, this uh, bright red gas bursts out and begins to flood all around you. Uh, Nalai, you and Mizuki kind of like uh, managed to kind of like beat it back and like as you kind of like feel it overwhelming your senses you kind of just kind of shrug off what's happening um, but uh, Oda Karen I need you to roll a D100 please ooh okay hmm? it's so incredibly average <laughs> well I'll say this Oh, this is super complicated. <laughs> no, it, no, it isn't. Not in this case. So, uh, you, uh, as this guest... <laughs> uh, hold on. Uh, two seconds. I think my wife is knocking on the door. Okay. Hey, guys. I need to cut it short. That's fine. That's okay. Yep. I understand. Um, 
I hate to do that. I hope in the she feels better. Yeah, thank you. Uh, s- sorry about that. Um, but I will. We'll figure out what to do next yep. in a bit. Yep. All right. Okay. We'll wrap up the stream. Don't worry. Go, I hope everything's take okay. Yeah, give you our love. All right. I will. All right. See you all. Bye. 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 Okay, so yeah, stream. Um, sorry about that. What? Things are getting cut short. Um, we'll obviously post when we continue this. Um, might be a bit too late for me to continue with anything on this end, but maybe someone will stream Overwatch or PUBG or something. Yeah! But yeah, um, just keep an eye on your Twitch emails if it says we go live again. Otherwise, have a good night. Bye. 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 I love you guys.